Hey, it's Clay and I'm back. I got another update on the Tele build. And uh, yeah, I think I'm somewhere between 15 and 20 coats in of true oil. And yeah, things have been going really well. Uh, I've been slowed down a little bit in the last couple of days just because it's been colder and raining. Um, you know, so it takes a little bit longer to dry. And sometimes I kind of have to pull it inside. And I, I probably could in theory, but I have yet to actually put on a coat and let it dry inside. I don't know why, that just kind of makes me feel weird. Um, but I, th I think that in theory should be fine, but I kind of don't want to press my luck. Um, but any which way, things have been going well despite the weather. Uh, like I said, we're somewhere between coats 15 and 20, and I kind of want to give a little bit of a, you know, a progression on how things go. It's really smooth, and you can see it's actually very glossy. Um, which is sweet. I'm excited about this. There's a little bit of stuff there. I'll get to that. Um, so yeah, uh, uh, maybe between coats, somewhere between 8 and 10, especially, there was these... I noticed that I started to develop um, these little, tiny little ridges or like granules almost that you can kind of see on the surface. And I almost, I worried as if that maybe was just that I wasn't cl getting it perfectly clean, or maybe I hadn't cleaned off all the sawdust on the body, um, or what it was, but, so basically my process so far has been to put on the tree oil, and then whenever I see any sort of imperfection, uh, I either use the steel wool, or I use this uh, 400 grit wet dry. 400 grit is kind of like the big guns. Um, but if I need to sand something down, I use that, and I basically, I'm not trying to take anything off, I'm just trying to make it level. I'm trying to cut off the top and make it level. Because, um, you know, with true oil, as opposed to something like nitro or cellulose, true oil will build layer upon layer upon layer, whereas some of those other finishes will actually um, meld together. Like, I think in nitro especially, something in the chemistry will actually bond together uh, to, to become one complete layer of finish. Whereas with this, you actually build individual layer upon individual layer. So you want to really make sure that you're keeping it level as you go because uh, yeah, otherwise in the end you're going to have an unleveled finish, finished product. But yeah, overall I'm really happy with how things have gone. Um, you know, so I, uh, my biggest probably problem, quote unquote, is on the sides because uh, usually when I let it dry, it's in this position. So if I get any extra runoff on the edges, it tends to kind of drip down. So I'll get these little, I, I, and then I use the sandpaper, the sandpaper to actually uh, cut that part down right there. So you can kind of see it looks a little bit scratched up, but uh, that's because I used the sandpaper to cut that part down. But yeah, overall it's going really well. Um, and you know, I'm not overly concerned about the sides. I mean, really, I think the biggest thing is to just keep the coats uh, nice and light. And you don't actually want to put on a lot of finish every single time. Um, you know, you want to keep, keep them light, you want to keep them thin, you want to keep them even. And that's, I think, the way that you're going to get the best results. So, uh, yeah, I've been kind of sticking to that, sanding when needed. I, I have not sanded between every coat. I don't do that. I just kind of eyeball it or feel it. Like, even like right there, maybe there's something I could sand out. But um, I just kind of look at th look over it. You, I, I want it to kind of be glossy, so I use these reflections. You can kind of see, like, this part here looks really good. Um, so you just kind of want to eyeball it. You're looking for any sort of imperfections. Anything that just does not look nice and shiny and pretty, and then you sand that out. Um, but yeah, I really, really like working this th with this stuff. It takes me maybe five minutes to put on a coat, tops. Um, but things have been going really, really well. I'm really happy with it overall. Um, it's going nicely. I still have this box of parts over here all ready to go. Uh, I'll probably put on, I don't know how many more layers, where I'm just going to kind of go with it. Um, I'm still waiting for my neck to come in the mail, which has been kind of a bummer. I ordered it through an all parts dealer, um, which I've never done before, but I got a killer price. But I think that the give and take there is that you actually, um, I'm pretty sure that this dealer does not stock anything, but what they do is maybe once or twice a month, 
they just kind of pool all of the orders that they had into one order from all parts and then they ship it out to you so it's kind of like they buy it from all parts using their dealer discount and then they sell it to you at a discounted rate from what all parts would sell it but then the kicker is that you actually have to wait a long time because it has to you have to wait for the dealer to you know pool all their orders and then you have to wait for all those orders to get shipped to all parts you have to wait for all parts to ship the actual product to the dealer and then wait for the dealer to ship it back to you so it's been kind of a long wait um, but that's okay I'm not in any hurry I'm excited about getting this body done but basically um, I'm probably just going to keep on putting more coats. I've heard the most coats I've ever heard anybody put on is like 40, which seems a little bit absurd. But actually, like, if you put on like three a day, I mean, that's only a couple of weeks. It's really not, it really is not a big time investment. Um, it's, yeah, it's really, really simple to do. So whenever the, whenever the neck gets in, I'll probably only put maybe like two or three or four coats on the neck. I want to keep that pretty wood feeling um, and then yeah I gotta put the pickguard on put the pickups in screw all the hardware on wire it up and we are gonna be good to go oh and there is going to be I think there's like maybe they say that, that you want to give it a week to cure for the finish to cure so I'll probably um, what I'll probably do is once I hear from the dealer that my neck is going to be shipped then I'll probably stop let it cure for about a week and then do the neck and then finish it up. But I'm getting really anxious to hear how this thing sounds. Uh, I think this turned out definitely better than I expected. I know I've, you know, I was looking back on some of my older, like the first vlogs, and I was like, when this was still a piece of wood, and I was routing these pickups, and I was like, holy cows, I have, no, <laughs> I have no idea if this is gonna turn out or not. But so far, I'm really excited. Um, it has turned into something that I really, really like. So definitely excited about it. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you soon.